Okay, welcome to another edition. This is a movie we're making. I apologize about the sound. Uh, it's a very reflective studio that I'm in, the tabletop, and most of the surfaces are quite reflective. It's sort of not really designed for uh, voice, even though um, it's going to be... Uh, we're going to add a, an external microphone, and we're going to get some really clean audio. So, But in the meantime, I just thought I'd bring you the message... Uh, which is much more important than poor sound, so I apologize. We're going to try and isolate and get rid of a missing sound file that just doesn't seem to be found. So type in the word missing into the browser, and these are the two sound files that we cannot find for some unknown reason. I just cannot find these two sound files. I've tried going into the iTunes collection. I've tried going into our external sound effects libraries, I've even done a networking. I've even networked into other, into the other computers uh, inside the studio and nothing. So can't find these two, but I don't want to delete them. I'm terrified to delete them because if I delete them and then I can't render out a 98, 103 minute feature film, we have a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the next solution, which is to basically uh, reveal, open this in the timeline. There it is in the timeline. Now, funny enough, it's not that easy to find in the timeline as, as easy as you'd think. Now, you can either put a mark on it. So you can either go mark, and there's a little mark there, right? So if you touch it, you see the mark. But I'm not going to use a mark. I'm going to delete the mark because, to be honest with you, um, it's really no way to try and find a clip amongst uh, 10,500. Um, uh, uh, events, editing events. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the next best thing, which is to disable it. So if I disable it, it means it's no longer going to be needed. So I'm not going to delete these two. I'm not going to do that because it's too terrifying to delete. Because uh, I don't know what they are. I do not know where to find them. So I do the same thing with this one. So I go into opening timeline. Uh, whoa, seems to have built. That's strange. No, no, for some unknown reason, the redness hasn't got to it. It's very unusual. Um, very unusual. Because there it is in red, and there it is in green. So, believe me, it's not, it hasn't been found. I do not know why it is there. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to disable it because I cannot find these. I, I, you see, oh, there it is. Can you see the redness underneath the green? So it is definitely not in there. I do not know why it's showing up when I enable it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you can see the red now. But uh, yeah, sometimes Final Cut Pro does very strange things. So I go back out and there's my timeline. And now I don't have to worry because I basically dealt with the problem. However, still inside there, it's still telling me that there's an issue. Can you see there's an issue with the clip? Um, you know, very frustrating, of course, because, um, you know, you're always trying to resolve these, these issues. But I, I guess if you disable it, uh, if you disable the problem, disable the clip, you could render it out without issues. So um, see if that works for you, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe.